So just straight from the customization kit bash table, we have two versions of Duke. So this is inspired from the GI Joe classified series chuckles. So I want something that looks different, but not as outrageous as the classified series chuckles action figure. Something tactical, but at the same time covert. So we have special ops or covert ops duke okay so let's discuss where this base body comes from comes from marvel legends the hood so i took off the cape i took off the screaming head unit the handsets which um, the set was just way too big for the action figure and the boots so of course with the magical powers of hair dryer just simple hair dryer and a mix and match of parts okay so let's take a look at your standard gi joe duke or non-standard gi joe duke and let's take a look at covert ops duke So, trademark bandolier. But we could take off that bandolier if I wish to. So, I just place that on to really mark this figure as Duke. So, even with the bag and that bandolier crisscrossed, we still have great articulation points for this action figure. So, nothing is really lost. So this figure is still possible as can be. So parts. G.I. Joe Classified Series Duke, the head. The scarf comes from Action Force Valiverse from that guy. So with the bag. So that bag comes from that guy. <laughs> he's taking a rest okay so the handsets on this action figure of course I have to anatomically match those handsets with the size of the head so it won't look outrageous so those are those this set comes from my parts bin as to specific figure I really didn't tag them so just lose parts the compact 9mm pistol comes from Jaijo Classified Series Recondo Tiger Force and the new footwear on this action figure comes from Jaijo Classified Series Flint so very nice simple build still looks tactical if you wish to because of the bandolier but we could even take that bandolier off actually so let's just raise that arm and slide that bandolier off okay so without the pistol of course if you're covert ops or spe um, running special ops then you have to have a sub compact pistol something that is nice small has enough capacity like a sig p365 or possibly a p320 or a smith and wesson shield plus or even a Taurus GX3 the not GX3 the G3C yeah or maybe a Hellcat yeah so something small but packs enough firepower 17 rounder or 15 rounder okay so without the pistol so this is how the figure looks 
so Duke looks like a tourist but of course you have to really know that that head unit is from Duke so that's the reason why I included the um, bandolier crisscrossed but without the bandolier actually the figure already looks okay so this scarf so it won't be moving around the neckline or the shoulder line of the action figure I remolded that with of course once again the use of a hair dryer cut out some material underneath to make it a little bit um, less thicker I mean and glued it to the chest of the action figure and the back section so that thing is not going off the action figure so no matter what pose you put this on it's going to stay in place okay so let's put this back on the action figure and the pistol so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.